already. You all right, man? He hit a rock and snapped the metal. Look at his part buster. It snapped? Yeah, yeah, like it sheared through. You're completely off. Welcome back, everyone. This week we're at Horseshoe, and uh, oh, Jesus, just uh, Brandon was getting a little bit excited. Um, so this week we're with Lucas, uh, Chris, and Jesse, as well as uh, as well as Brandon. Um, so, like, this was a bit of fun as we were trying to fix up his uh, bar bus as well, get the broken parts off. Can't believe that, like. Just had a had a mishap because it's so dusty, couldn't see shit, and then like this rock comes out of nowhere, sends it down. It's like, oh, that's that day. Um, so, yeah, out for a ride again. Um, as as is always, <laughs> um, I was having an absolute blast today, as as is always as well. Um, it was a bit dusty though, so that was it. W it was nicer to be up front compared to like further back in the group um, don't usually like to go with too many people because otherwise especially on days like this you just can't see anything and there's just with so many people like the dust builds up and like everyone's crashing and you can't see it it's just kind of puts a bit of a dampener on things um, however I was going around we're trying to I'm trying to practice uh, just riding a little bit more accurately and I was also trying that thing um, someone mentioned in a video a little while back on the Walton video where uh, I need to not pull my clutch in so much when I'm trying to brake hard so that I can get the chain rattle going and I'm pretty pretty happy with the progress I was making with that. I've been doing it in the last couple of videos and stuff as well, um, but I feel like I'm definitely using my clutch even even less just to try and get more control of the bike. My, oh, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Now nah, you're good. Probably. So I think uh, Brad was he he damaged his he hurt his shoulder dislocated it so he's a little bit um, out of uh, riding like out of the flow he needs to get back into it probably a little bit nervous as well to be honest like you know I have to come back from an injury and it's all a bit spooky so he, he's running a little bit slower um, so what I was doing was just hold him back and then I'm like ride a little bit more spiritedly to catch up so that that was always fun. Ooh. A little bit, little bit bumpy through the whoops there, but still good. I'm also trying to do that thing. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm sure like every single person who watches my video also watches Rich Larson. Um, if you don't, you should, because he has extremely good uh, advice. But watching the advice and actually practicing the advice is a different thing. So um, I, I'm also trying to practice that thing where I try to lean more and more forward on the bike um, as I'm accelerating and as I'm braking, lean back. Easier said than done. Um, I, I I realize I'm like watching a few other people's videos as well. I don't ever feel like I'm I'm far enough forwards. Um, so I just need to keep practicing. Like apparently, I should be far enough forwards that you can read the number plate. So it makes me think that if I can, well, I'll go down here right in a second. But you know, um, yeah, I, I feel like I just need to be more and more forwards. Oh, it's going off. It's going off trail again. Apparently he has like a 70 front tire or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's getting to him. The 70 front tire is uh, is um, not helping him from washing out in the sand, which is a bit a bit of a shame. I don't remember Horseshoe being this sandy. Oh, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't remember Horseshoe being this sandy. I remember there's some sand at Horseshoe, but I don't remember it being this sandy. It looks like they've also done a lot of like work because the up and down little goaty section i'm not really sure what it's called like the goat track that's what i call it <laughs> um that has been made longer now so it's super long and super flowy and that's really good fun um just riding a little riding a little ahead try and help him follow the flow but i don't think that helped at all actually <laughs> oh. yeah so also uh I, I had to get a new gear later this week because the one that I have, it's like an aluminium one, but it's all fucked up and bent, and you can't bend it back, which sucks. So, but they're cheap. They're only like 40 bucks or something like that. I say cheap. I mean, I don't want to be buying a new gear lever all the time, but I gave up with it. I keep like, every, I try to bend it back. I can't put it down lower because otherwise it just hits the frame when I shift down. And um, I can't really bend it back because it's aluminium. So, I'll keep it as 
like a spare kind of fine, but I'd ideally not used it. And then I'll, I'll put a new one on. I should also probably put a new spark plug in because I've got, I think I've got about like a hundred hours on this one now. I haven't changed it for ages, absolutely ages. And then I was thinking, I was looking back through the videos and I think the last one I saw was like back at like 90 hours or something was the last time. Whoa, you blew that corner. Uh, like, like 90 hours, so I've probably got about 100 hours on this, and, and I noticed, like, the power has been getting less and less, and today the bike didn't start immediately, like, first crank either, and it's a really nice warm day, so there's no reason why it shouldn't start immediately, so I'll, I'll swap the spark plug out, do the basics, oil change, air filter, all that crap. Oh, I, I, I do I do enjoy coming to watch it. I haven't been here for quite some time because last year there was a lot of logging going on. Yeah, um, but now now it's all good. They've uh, tidied it up. I think they got rid of some of the whoops and some of the like the the really dug out places as well, which is good to see. Um, yeah, gotta stand up, man. <laughs> Easier said than done when you're when you're tired and. Recovering from an injury. <laughs> oh, fucking beautiful. Nice little log hop going into a hill climb, and then we're like, let's do the trails. Oh, I didn't realize the trail ends right here. <laughs> so, here we're following Jesse for a little bit. Oh, oh, yep, missed my gear shift again because the gear lever's bent upwards and. Doesn't, doesn't help, but whatever. No excuse. Oh, he's, he's got a little bit of pace going on. So yeah, you can hear like the rattling where I'm uh, of the of the rear wheel as it's like chattering, which is good. I, I think that's what the fella in the other video was trying to describe to me. Um, I'm not. I don't think I'm locking my rear wheel when I'm doing that. It's just like slowly turning. Uh, since having raised my um, brake pedal up, I find that it's a lot. More, I'm, I'm, I can use it a lot more accurately. Like I can gently use it rather than just being like trying to find it and then just giving up and just stamping down as hard as possible. That also reminds me, I need to do my front brakes again. I need to bleed them. They're getting a little bit soft. Uh, not so much like the full pull. Like it usually the pull comes almost instantly. Um, however, after this day, it was like centimeter centimeter and a half of just absolutely nothing and then the the play that i would expect so yeah i'll just give them a bleed and i mean it's, i haven't bled them since the start of the year so i mean it's what six months now what, what month's it no it's august now wait what month's it it's july ah oh, i blew the corner <laughs> either way it's been a few months um a little surprise i don't usually have to bleed them too many times throughout the year but I don't know, maybe I'm just being super sensitive about my brakes, but whatever. I like my brakes to work exactly as I expect them to, not pull them in and be like, huh, it didn't work as good as I expected. I also ordered some, um, moose. They haven't arrived yet, they haven't shipped yet, um, but hopefully they'll uh, come in a couple of weeks or less. It's from Gnarly Parts, they're always really, really slow with delivery, but they, they were super cheap, which is probably why they're really slow with delivery. They probably don't have any in bloody stock and they just made a stupid like back order but whatever we'll see um so yeah that should be interesting i'd like to hopefully get them in before chloe's um that'd be grand um yeah then i can give them a test because uh, i got the v33s and that's a hybrid gummy and i don't really do any hard enduro and lots of people say you should get a gummy for the cord but i don't i don't ride in the pro class so do i really need it or will a hybrid ah, gummy be good I, enough? I, I so it'd be good to like get some practice. And fucked up the hill climb. That hill climb was fucking hell of a surprise. Yeah, I fucked that up real bad. <laughs> right. Eh, I gotta be, there, gotta, you gotta point out your mistakes, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, he makes it over bad. everything. Mwah. Then he oh. wants to go do the bigger one, of course. <laughs> Didn't quite catch the That's first takeoff. Well, you didn't fall near this tree, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he might get impaled on the big tree, so I was like, oh, I'll stand a little closer so he can't. Oh, makes it over. And then, 
I didn't, think I didn't that realize that was the tree that he was worried about hitting. He, he wasn't worried about the tree laying on the I side. He was worried about that tree there, which I hadn't <laughs> even paid attention to. Oh, really? I thought you were worried about falling in this shit. No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so I'd like to get those the moose in and give them a, a test ride and see how they feel and like get the, the feels with it with the with my with the V33S on the back and you know the Michelin on the front. That'll be good. Just see how they feel. Um, right now, I'm now trying out Jesse's bike, which was cool. Uh, ride the 300X trainer, and he's had the suspension done done up by Langs, and oh my god, it's so much better than it was. I remember riding this bike before, and it was just difficult. And I really didn't like it, but with the suspension upgrade, yeah, this bike's so much better. And somehow we managed to find the only fucking piece of mud in this entire place from such a dry day. So Jesse oh, has to go I clean his own bike because he roosted himself. Well, he roosted oh, me and his own bike. Very but anyway, <laughs> that'll do. <laughs> See ya.